The beast form in Bloody Roar Extreme is the most in-depth or complex it has ever been, so I'm going to break down everything as best I can so you can understand how this mechanic works. The aura around the character when they transform has a hitbox, so it's a good tool to use for neutral when timed right. Be mindful of approaching your opponent when they have enough meter to transform because you can get hit. You can jump off of walls. You're heavier to juggle. Once you have transformed, you have access to moves that are beast form exclusive. This makes your playstyle more creative if you experiment. You also get an attack and defense buff. You're stronger and less vulnerable. Stun is a great example of this because he has the best defense in the game. Not only does your beast gauge passively fill up when idle, and pressing the beast button when your beast gauge is low or empty fills it up, but also evading, blocking, taking damage, and inflicting damage. When you've taken damage, the blue bar shows how far your health will passively heal only when you're in your beast form. However, the more damage you take, the shorter the blue bar gets. You can use a beast drive to restore the health, just understand that if you do this, you must have a game plan, otherwise you wasted a beast drive when you could've just let your health heal passively. Your beast drive's damage output is determined by how high or low your beast gauge is. If it's full, it'll do a lot. If it's low, expect low damage. If you feel like transforming is risky, use a special move that's cancelable out of your human form to go into your beast form quicker. Hyper Beast is the ability plus of Bloody Roar, and every character has traits to their hyper form. Yuriko's hits ignore the opponent's defense buff they get from their beast form, and her hits have counter hit properties. She's a threat regardless if you're in your beast form, basically. Her double quarter circle back beast drive allows her to run around the stage until her meter depletes. Alice's kicks deal more damage. Guard Break and have increased hit stun on airborne opponents. Kronos' hyperform is a phoenix, he gets new moves, and the startup for all of his moves are reduced by one frame. Yugo and Fang's hyperforms have heavy hit stun, heavy block stun, and their normals are special cancelable. Stun's Hyper makes him faster, turns his light guard into a heavy guard but without the heavy block stun, and the starter for all of his moves are reduced by one frame. Hyper Beast allows you to do beast drives without reverting back into human form. Hyper Beast has a hitbox in the air but not on the ground, so use it wisely, especially if your beast gauge is low. When your beast gauge is full, you don't sacrifice health when going hyper, but if you go hyper when your beast gauge is not full, you sacrifice your health, putting yourself at risk of losing. So be careful. 